In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a close button to the thank you message of your opt-in form so that your readers know that you won't distract them anymore. First of all, go to your existing opt-in form and go to edit design. So here is your existing opt-in form, but we want to go to the thank you state. To do this, click on add and add a new state. This will copy the existing opt-in form, but as you can see, we're in a completely new state now. So if you do any modification here, it won't override your existing form. So let's modify this form. This can be a general thank you message. All I want to do here is get rid of the sign up form and add a button here. Change the style. Make it full width and add a text. And make the font a bit bigger. We want this button to close the form as soon as we click on it so that we can go back to the website instead of being redirected to somewhere else. To do this, click on the button and choose Event Manager. Add an event. The trigger should be click and the action you need to select is close current live box. Save the event. We don't need to add any more events, so just close this and save the changes. Now let's link this thank you state to the sign up form. Click on default state. This will take you back to your existing opt-in form. Click on your sign up form. Go to connect with service. If you haven't connected your mailing list with the form yet, Click on Create New Connection, choose API, and choose the mailing list that you want. Now go to Action After Sign Up and choose Switch State. You need to choose State 1. This is the state that we just edited. Save the changes. So now our form is ready, let's preview it. Now let's see what happens if I opt in. If I click on this button, it closes the light box. 